Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Potato Flowers in Full Bloom, which is a bit of an odd title, but it is a JRPG roguelike, which is... I, I'm curious to see how this goes. It looks cute. Quick interjection, I don't know why I thought this was a roguelike. It's not, it's just a dungeon crawler RPG. It's actually a really charming one, so I don't know. It doesn't really matter much to me. I thought it was neat. Ah, behind you, behind you. Oh, and it's like old school proper dungeon crawler. What the? Move. Okay, cool. Guess we'll talk to her. Well, this sure isn't good. About the grate. Are you okay? That steel grate came down suddenly as soon as we got in here. It seems to be a mechanism that automatically closes when it detects people. We'll have to raise it up somehow to get out of here. There must be a lever or something to operate the grate. Let's look for it. it might be somewhere really close by. Okay, I bought this place. These runes aren't actually the subject of our excavation, but the main labyrinth is in the center of the island. But I thought I'd take a peek at this place just to get a feel for it, so I went in and... I'm sorry, things turned out this way. Take rest, examine the room in the back. I'll go too, or I'd like to, but... I know, I'll wait here patiently. Don't worry. There may be beasts or bad guys hiding somewhere. Be careful. Okay, question. Well, the music is... like, dang good. Can I check controls real quick? No. I'm gonna drop this down by one. Display. Right. Oh, wait. Gameplay. Anything? Autosave, map direction, mini map direction. Okay. Doesn't look like there's too much. Woo. Okay, so I have a limited amount of torch. Oh, there's an upper section that I can get to. Alright. I don't play a whole lot of first person dungeon crawlers, or like old school dungeon crawlers just in general. Uh, not necessarily for lack of... Oh. That's neat. Okay, so we have a Skeleton Swordsman, level 10. I'm going to ignore it for a hot second. Let's see what else we have around here. Cannot be opened from this side. Well then. There we go. I can turn the torches back on. Might as well just fight them. Okay, when your health hit zero, you'll become impaired and unable to fight. Alright, so we have attack, guard, skill, and rest. So, weapon bash. Strikes with a weapon dealing damage has a large impact force and greatly reduces the stamina of enemies who guard it. Cover. Stand in front of the tar target companion while you guard and take the attack instead of them. You target yourself, you take the attack on yourself. And guard. Eight less damage than regular guard, but costs one mana. I don't know what rest does. Okay, display target off. I will just hit it. What about you? Fireball. Costs a little bit. Choose fireballs to deal damage. Fire attacks tend to work better on slimy en enemies and skeletons and less so on demons. I don't know, let's just go hard. Wow. Okay, that was effective. Okay, and we do recover a little bit of health post-battle. We have two of them now. Oh, wait, did I get my mana back? I have no idea. Oh, and we can see they're attacking. So if I have him guard, or do I do heavy guard? I'll do a heavy guard. So what skills does this person have. Shoots a well-aimed arrow that causes damage. Very easy to hit. Hit rate increases with every enhancement. Or rolling. Uh, let's see. So, potentially just don't take any damage. And fireball. Okay, so it did cost me a little bit of mana. Let's just shoot him. Okay. So, attack garden skill will consume... I see. So we, caught, we have stamina as an op, as a thing. Let's just try resting. Does that give me any mana back? Ow. So no. And hit rate is out of range, so reduce damage, but that's okay.
Wait, do- oh, do we not heal? Out of battle. I, you know, not sure. Okay, I don't see any torches here, which is not really a problem. Anything back here? Eh, kinda. Some candles. You can view the map in bright places. Well, that's a nice little map. Alright, let's just onwards, I guess. Belts and swords in level threes. Uh, sure. How wounded are we? No, it looks like we healed up. Overhead word bubble describes their next actions. So... Looks like they're wailing on him a little bit. Let's just have him guard. We'll have him... Maybe also guard? We also have rolling. Tax accuracy is reduced by 100% in absolute value. The original hit rate is less than 100%. You'll never be hit. I see. So rolling... Rolling would reduce my damage dramatically. Well, this is no time to be stingy. So I'm going to do another fireball. And we're just going to... Actually, hold up. I'm going to attack. We're going to fireball this guy. Because that should just delete him. Oh, nope. Didn't work. So the unfortunate part... Let's see. I'll have him guard. It seems like guarding actually works fine for avoiding damage to some degree. So I'll keep that in mind. We do also heal. Uh, let's see. Attack on a single enemy, attack on multiple enemies. I, I'm i not quite sure with some of these. Touch an enemy from behind to launch a surprise attack. Okay, so these guys just don't really actively do anything. Okay. It's so a rear attack, rear attack, and rear attack. Now, do we do bonus damage? No. But we definitely hit. This looks... No, that's just a cell door. Anything here? Nope. Or a cell door. Cell window? Doors that can only be opened from the inside reveal shortcuts. Yep. Mm. So apparently our camera angle is always placed at the back of the tile we're on. Hence why that door looks ridiculously... What's with this sign? I have no idea. Hatchet Demon level 13. Too dark to see the map. Okay. There was like an upper walkway earlier, I thought. Yeah, right here. Hmm. Maybe it's a secret to everybody. We'll see. I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see. Fight the Hatchet Demon? Sure. Okay, guard, evade, and going for Orkin. Uh, let's see. Well, at this point, I might as well go hard, because I'm pretty sure this is the last monster of the dungeon. Oh. Yep, fire does not do a whole lot of damage to this guy, but that's fine. So who's he aiming for? Him again. I could do a skill, but I think I just want to guard. Let's see. Unfortunately, that doesn't do a whole lot of damage versus demons. Okay. Let's do a skill weapon weapon bash. Skill rolling. And probably just another attack. There we go. And he's getting his stamina back. Uh probably gonna bash. Rest and I'm gonna have her rest too. Yeah. That was a good plan. Attack, attack, and skill. We have evade. Focusing on evasion. So not quite as good as rolling, but she can inv she can evade. Guarding probably would have been fine, but still. Okay, let's just guard. Oh, you know what? I bet whatever your stamina total is reduces the amount of damage you take. Maybe? Maybe not. 
Okay, well, he needs to rest. He can roll. Okay, he's big mad. Oh, that's a cute animation. Oh, he's just gonna hit everybody, ain't he? What does that do? Cover self. Probably doesn't do what I need it to do. Fortunately, guard isn't that great. We'll just... <sighs> guard broken. Ow. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we want to do skill, cover, him. He needs to rest. And she needs to rest. Okay, aiming for the archer again, but the archer can now do do a thing. So we want to do a weapon bash. Actually, he's probably going to just run out of juice. We'll just hit him. Skill, rolling, and attack him again. Okay. All in. Okay, and he's going to be taking a swing at everybody. Do we just go for it? Yeah, let's just go for it. I'm not quite sure when they attack in, in this order. They all seem to attack each other simultaneously, so it's a little hard to time, but it's fine. That was bright, and he exploded. Oh, and we now have an apparition for him, I guess. All right, well, there's the lever. Pull the lever bars lifted. A voice comes from the bottom of the steps. You did it. Now let's get back before any more beasts show up. Should be able to jump that height. Just be careful not to break your leg. Boop. Just all of our legs snap. She has to carry us out. Oh no, everyone's been so badly hurt. I'm so sorry. If I'd been more organized, this wouldn't have happened. But thanks so much. If it weren't for you guys, I'd probably be dead. HQ told me to bring, bring people who can fight. So I took you three from other departments. And you're all very strong. Now let's get out of here and continue our search for a base. We need to see the town first. I wonder if this has like a meta progression or a character customization system. Hopefully. It'd be kind of a shame if we don't. I love how wizards just by default have big hats. Like, every, every game that involves spellcasters, just that should be a requirement. You have a big hat if you cast spells. And the more powerful the wizard, <laughs> the uh, the bigger your hat should be. Which means Big Hat Logan should be the most powerful wizard of all. Unfortunately, dude just likes living in cages and selling stuff as opposed to doing anything. Wait, no, you can summon him for a fight, I think. Well. We found this absolutely wrecked town. You know, frankly, it, it would be kind of horrifying to find a town that is just absolutely deserted like this. I uh, I guess it kind of depends if you know why it's deserted. It's like, oh, monsters came through, and it's like, well, that's sad. But if it's like you don't know what happened to everybody, I would steer very clear. Just never come back. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, I can actually mash ZR so she does something. Well, looks like we're just going to establish this place as a base. I don't know where everybody else went, but that's okay. Boy, she swept so hard the whole place got fixed. Crew name. You can change this name later. Perfect. Don't ask. <laughs> okay, crew members, recruit members. So they're, I see. So level zero, EXP zero, equipment and stuff. So class, oh, we have warrior, knight, cleric, shaman, ranger, rogue, wizard, and sorcerer. So sorcerer can do demon summoning, ranged attack, fire sorcery, Wizard can do four element magic, weapon enhancement, gravity manipulation, and ranged attacks. Rogues can do short sword, gadget, evade, consecutive attack. 
Ranger, Bow Trap, Beast Trainer, Long Range Attack, Shaman, Recovery, Spear Halberd, Mid Level Armor, Mid Level. Or, mid, uh, sorry, Spear Halberd, Mid Level Armor, and Medicine. Um, cleric is Recovery, Club Hammer, Mid Level Armor, Exorcism. Knight, Mallet Spear, Shield Technique, Heavy Armor, and Damage Buffer. And then Warrior is Sword Axe, Shield, Two Handed Weapon, Heavy Armor, and High Strength. So. Our orc last time was that. Here's the other question. Oh, I can change appearance. So what races do we have? Orc, wood elf, <laughs> no, dark elf, goblin, dwarf, uh, wait, dark elf, dwarf, and then human. Well, let's see. And I can have up to eight of these people. So, do, does race change anything? No, it looks like it's pure statistics. Okay, cool. Eyes. There we go. Hairstyle. Hmm. Really, it's facial hair that matters the most. I, I feel like it's illegal to have a dwarf without a beard. They just look so unfortunate. Okay, so how do I want to do this? I mean, I like I like this beard. It's very uh It's very just like kind of intense and angry and great eye color. <laughs> well, if I go gray, you can't see it. I know, I'll just leave it as such. What hair colors do we have? Not too many. I don't know. Let's go with this one. Oh, headgear. None. Well, I have no choice. Okay. Let's do a dwarven... Ah. Because I'm feeling shaman... Maybe shaman, rogue, and knight. Or shaman, rogue, and warrior. Because Warrior does bigger damage, but isn't very good at tanking. Knight is great at tanking. Oh, does have damage buffer, which I'm curious about. Because I could also do Cleric. The other question is, does a spear let them attack from the back with reasonable range? I don't know. Let's do a dwarv Dwarven Knight, and his name is going to be... Um, His name's gonna be Grog. Okay, so now we've got Grog. Okay. Oh! Equip skill acquisition. So shield mastery, shield bash, shield charge, heavy guard, and that. He also has weapon bash, heavy armor mastery, and passive skills. Or perks? Equipped with a heavy type armor and hammer, all damage taken is reduced by 5%. And attack is increased by 10%. Observer, when equipped with a shield and a spear, two stamina is recovered every turn. Weak attack. Attacks weakly and does damage. Less powerful than a normal attack, but uses less stamina. Slightly easier to hit. And then medium armor mastery. But really what we want is heavy armor mastery, which is also passive. Okay. Now this actually seems pretty neat. When equipped with heavy type armor, defense is increased by 5%, and maximum stamina increased by a bunch. I I like the idea of him potentially doing... Uh, no, 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 no. I should probably go for hammer. Because heavy type armor and a hammer, all damage is reduced by 5%. So we could get that up to a 20% plus that. So a 40% damage reduction plus 10% damage bonus. Otherwise... Observer for just infinite stamina, so he just never runs out. Actually, that might be better. Because if he just never runs out of stamina for the most part, then we could potentially... Because that would be wise. Plus two, so five stamina per turn. So that's effectively the same as a regular attack. When equipped with a shield, stability is increased by two. In addition, defense while guarding is increased by 10%. And then we also have Heavy Guard, Weapon Bash, Double Slash, a bunch of other things.
Because, yeah, we could just make this guy so hard to kill if I just have him be a, a spear boy. Executioner also works. <sighs> Let's quit ac acquisition. Uh, I'm just going to leave it for now because I just don't know. What is HR? Oh, wait. Personnel restructuring. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so next up, I guess I'm just going to make the other characters now that we've made one. Okay, so we got Grog, Moonshine, Schnapps, Whiskey, and Mead. Uh, let's see, so team composition. How many can I send? Grog, Moonshine, and Schnapps. Okay, so I can only send three at a time. So we'll take these three out for the time being. Uh, search data. Okay, so that's the stuff I've learned. Items, the stuff I've found. Save, save and quit. Item settings. Okay, pretty much no. So we can do any number of these. Town runes, cancel. So let's go back. Hollow below the cliff or deep in the hardwood forest. Let's just dive in one of these and see how it goes. I'm curious about how this team comp's going to go. It's maybe a little bit heavy on the tank and support uh, as opposed to the deeps. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Let's go back if it's too dangerous. Okay, yeah, about the mission. According to the research and planning office, during the time of the catastrophe, the lowest level of this labyrinth was rented out as a treasure vault. Around that time, apparently a group of alchemists brought in a box full of something. Those men, bearing the appearance of scholars, took the wooden box to the cave of the warehouseman. Memoirs of a territory brewery owner. I found from checking the account books of the time that the contents of the box might have been wheat or potato seeds. According to the annals of the Alchemy Guild, there's some someone researching crops that could grow on soil contaminated with poison. And our HQ is a hunch that these seeds in the box are from that crop. If we can bring them home and grow them, people won't have to suffer anymore. Even if the seeds are rotten, they can still be used as valuable, valuable research samples. That's where I come in. Find the box that the alchemist brought to the underground labyrinth and check its contents. And if possible, bring it back. That's the mission. Let's do this. Treasure Vault. Okay, it's the lowest level of the labyrinth. We have to find the stairs to go down. Oh, you know what? I should probably ask the other ones. Base camp. Pretty place, huh? Pretty nice place, huh? I found it when I came to check it out. And that was three months ago. It was the site of a tavern used by people way back when. But it was untouched thanks to the fact that the entrance was covered in rubble. It's nicely hidden in the ruins of the town. It's easy to find if you look for it. But it's hidden from plain sight. It'd be hard for the neighbors to keep up appearances if minions of other powerful families were excavating out in the open. Okay, return to the base camp. Restore spirit and remaining torch use time. Re respawns all defeated enemies. Maintain status of doors and traps. Okay. So I can go back. It'll respawn the monsters, but all doors, shortcuts, and whatever that I've opened will reset. Hey! About the labyrinth. You guys came from the peninsula, huh? There's not much treasure left in this place anymore. Whatever's on the shallow floors has been taken away by foreigners. We want to go down. There's a staircase there behind the locked red door. Apparently, a lot of the keys of the labyrinth on the island have copies. I'm sure you can find them if you look hard. About them. I'm a leather worker in the village. Oh, about this guy. Got it. Okay. So he's a leather worker. He can make stuff. Okay, cool. I don't want to spend too much time talking to folks at the moment. There's also the blacksmith, but we're just going to explore for the time being. Bear, grizzly level 15. I'm level 1. Who knows? Maybe a grizzly isn't so bad. I. Interesting. Yep, I can in fact look around. Cannot be open from this side. Well, that's okay. I'm actually really shocked there haven't been more dungeon crawlers in this kind of vein. Uh, let's see. Crew members. Schnapps. Equip to short sword. Extra damage. Ah, it even has stamina cost as well. So you can tell how effective equipment is. I haven't actually bought any skills for these characters. So I should probably take a look at that at some point. Ooh. This is a little bit more maze-like than I was bargaining for, but that's okay. There we go. We found some iron, so it looks like... Yeah, we can do some crafting. It's me, the chief. Can you hear me? 
Okay, good. Looks like the signal can pass through walls. It's almost time. I'm getting a little nervous. I think everyone's probably even more so. If you have any questions, please contact me. I'll give you all the information I can. Fair enough. Crew members, right. Skill acquisition. What kind of armor is he wearing? Is this heavy? It says normal armor. So it's probably not heavy. Uh, you know what? If I want to do skill acquisition, I might want to just do... I might want to just do shield mastery. Maybe. Because there's also weapon mash, bash, some other things, and then medium armor mastery, but nah. I don't know. I might wait on him. So shaman has target ally, time offset, power... Heal ratio, 50 plus 5 enhanced. Pray to the heavens, restore a small amount of strength. <sighs> okay. This is the interesting one. Yeah, so heals for 24 plus 2 enhanced over 5 turns. Overflowing vitality. Field full of life force and restores your health every turn. So, 15%, and then you can make it go longer and longer. Resurrection and Trance. Healing Self. Slightly restores HP. Technique Dependence. Magic Power Defensive. Uh, Dependence. Lexicology. Potion of Life. And then Acid Mist. Wait. Acid, acidic Mist to cling to the user, putting them in an Acidic Mist state. Doubles the amount of slashing or piercing it damage incurred. Interesting. Medium armor mastery. Inspiration. When equipped with lighter medium type armor, maximum spirit is increased by 8 and magic power is increased by 10. So that's pretty good. Lullaby. Imperts impersonates a minion's master, giving the minion false instructions and stunning it. Interesting. Humming. And then Disguise. And then we also have Spear Mastery. Which, honestly, I might actually want to just grab that first. Maybe? No, we should probably grab Prayer. What's the difference? Uh, hmm. I should probably grab Prayer. Because having a heal on him is useful. What about Schnapps? So Schnapps has Dagger Mastery, CQC. <laughs> Somebody's played it in Metal Gear. Uh, let's see. Which also gets me evade and a couple other things. Oh, and even rolling. Wow. Okay, so those archers were reasonably high level. Let's see. So when wearing light armor, evasion is increased by 10, plus 5 per enhance enhancement. So I can actually bring that up by a fair bit. Okay. Toxicology. Eh. When equipped with lighter medium armor, tech is increased by 20%. That gets us oil can, cheap potion, net, iron grid, throwing knife, poison knife, and triple knife throw. That said, I think I mostly want to just invest into this. Deals damage with the poison attack. In addition, can put the target into a poison state, can be disabled by guarding. Selecting poison deals damage every turn. So, yeah, let's, let's just grab dagger mastery. Because I effectively just want to, I don't know, poison sounds kind of fun. I don't actually know if it's going to be that good. Giant Rat, level zero. Okay, so this is going to be a lot easier. It's very Final Fantasy music. This is going to be a lot easier than uh, that bear. Oh, that's kind of a cute rat, actually. Okay, Giddy XP to level up. Get some more iron. Iron, this region's currency, can also be found in labyrinths and obtained by dismantling equipment. Okay, so we can get rid of spare junk that we don't need. Aha! You thought you could catch me unawares. Okay, looks like they're all just going for him. I might as well just kind of spread it out a little bit. These guys went... They're not much. There they go. As an adorable death animation. Which, yeah. Oh, wait, no, that's not actually useful on any of my guys. 
I might want to switch the rogue out for... Ooh. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think I might switch the rogue out for the sorcerer at some point. Uh, okay, we'll fight it. That slime is amazing. You can request advice during battle. Interesting. Uh, or n not, I don't know. Oh, no, I want to guard. I'm going to see if I can kill the giant rat before it hits my warrior. Oh, ow. We actually didn't do enough damage there. Yeah, I might give the, the sorcerer a shot. Or at least take a look at their skill tree after we're done with this dungeon. Though we might honestly want to... Come back later. Aw, the Were Rat Apprentice is adorable. Time to murder it. Okay, distance and attack range. So without enough range, your hit will be reduced. So range is bare hands. Uh or so one is bare hands, two is hammers and swords, four is spears, and six is bows and magic. Were rat apprentice. He's a little tougher than the other bad guys around here. Be careful. They're protected by their buddies up front, so melee attacks. With axes and hammers won't reach them. I mean, it kind of will. Uh, let's see. Okay, guard. Guard. And we don't have any skills yet, so... Oh! I didn't notice. Okay. I'm just gonna take some damage here. That was a little rough. Okay, so he needs to rest. He needs to... prayer. And he needs to guard. Okay, now they're both going for him, that's fine. Let's prayer again. We'll probably bail. At some point. Okay. Have him guard. There we go. Unfortunately, we're not the strongest team here. Uh, let's see. Do we just hit him? No. We're gonna, we're gonna rest. It seems like it's just not worth taking attacks, period. Okay. Guard, get some stamina back and... Okay, this guy's gonna hurt. Also seems like he's just kind of wailing on this dude. We'll get him. I, for the love of pizza, please. At, at least he's not casting a spell. I might be able to get him on the next round. Okay, two. Perfect. He's recovering. He must die. We get a frozen wand. Okay. So we can go in here. Crew members, Grog. Skill acquisition. I should probably invest into something. You know what? I'll give him one point into bash at the very least. And then shield mastery, because he's going to have both of those going all, always anyway. Let's see, second level in prayer? Sure. And second level into dagger mastery. There we go. Yes, you made it through. You can keep pressing on, but I'm sure you'll be making more, a few more trips through there down the road. It'd be nice to be able to avoid having to go through the same path again when that happens. Those beasts and bad guys from earlier are sure to show up again. I wonder if there's a way to create a new pathway somehow. Try looking around. I mean... Yep. Pull the lever. Bar's lifted. Does not open from this side. 
Here, check the map over here. Leave everything else up. So we got a one-way door there. Back behind us. A couple one-way doors. There might be another one all the way at the end of this hallway. Now that I'm looking at it. Oh, because, yeah. Oops. Okay, there's a torch right here. And more giant rats. How injured am I? No, it looks like we heal healed up to full. Okay, guard, guard, and unfortunately just attack. <laughs> well, looks like I know what he's going to be up to. There we go. And they get all their juice back. He rests. We just start working on... Next big mouse fight. Well, I keep just going for the warrior. Makes my life easier. But I was going to say this earlier. I, I'm honestly quite shocked. Oops. No, it didn't kill it. That's a little bit of ouch. I'm honestly quite so shocked there haven't been more, like, traditional dungeon crawler roguelikes out there. Uh, just because it feels like the format would combine perfectly. There we go. Because I'm thinking of... Oh, gosh. I mean, I guess I've seen a couple that kind of fit in that vein. Examine the device. A pulley's attached to the ceiling and a rope is... Stretched through the, a small hole in the floor. There isn't anything hanging from the hook. This is a device often seen in the remains of this region. When you suspend a weight from the right, but weight from just the right of just the right weight, it moves in conjunction with the balancing weight under the floor to wind up the chain inside. It's used to open and close doors and bars. Which gate could this lead to? I bet this is the shortcut system for this dungeon. Maybe. And I can descend. Too dark to see the map. Okay, so this is one of the ways down. Are there any other doors? There's this one which I didn't bother with. Can I add a marker? And then this one, but this one had a bear. Uh, let's see, reset view. Do I want to go all the way back? Yeah, kind of. Oh, it's it's a short trip anyway. Ooh. Okay, too far. Also too far. Too far again. Oh. The reason why I can't explore this room further is because it won't let me. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, you can't even see the mini-map when it's dark. I Honestly, I kind of appreciate that. Okay, so what do we have here? Hello? Oh, please help me. In a room down the hall, I was attacked by a group of merfolk who stabbed me in the leg with a harpoon. I managed to escape with my life, but the poison has prevented my wounds from healing. I can't move further. Please, I beg of you, could you fetch the herbs that could be used for medicine to stop the bleeding? For example, the leaves that grow on the head of a mandragora. Uh, you a potion could be made. This is bad, we have to help her. According to the villagers, there are mandragoras on this mountain. There must be some in the labyrinth. Try and find them. Okay. There we go. Turn the lights on. Oh, and we have bats. Okay, distance of flying targets is increased by one. Fair enough. Uh, let's see. Guard. Attack. Guard. The one problem by making all of my characters tank dwarf people. Ow? Yeah, the, the issue with making all of my people bearded. Let's see. Guard. Okay, there we go. Uh, all of my characters are bearded and kind of same looking. 
Uh, there's a bit of an unfortunate reality of sometimes they're going to look kind of similar portrait wise. I tried to mix and match the uh, the skin colors and some other things. So it would be a little bit more obvious. All right. Uh, let's see. Well, this is a party. Anything else we can do here? No. What about this direction? No, that's the way I came from. There's this door here. Luckily, monsters in this this game are not actually particularly aggressive. So they'll generally just leave me alone unless I come to attack them. Which means wall-mounted lightning can be lit. Yup. Figured that bit out. There are a lot of bars lined up. There doesn't seem to be any levers nearby, so how do we open them? Probably that... Maybe that gate system up above? Got a short bow. Yeah, I might want to make a ranger here. Just to capitalize on that. I can peek. Oh, that's nice. Cannot be open from this side. You're too high to jump down. Oh, well that's... Fair. Okay, so is there anything else I can do? Or do we fight those monsters and then bail? I'm a little worried. But yeah, looks like I'm capped out. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I could probably do this. So, let's... Guard... Skill. No, can't do anything. 40% chance to hit him. I'm, I'm just gonna hope that they don't. Nope, they got him. It's fine. Uh, let's see, so we have... The dodgy boy. There we go. Ooh. I mean, the rogue certainly does not do a whole lot of... Or does not have the greatest accuracy here, which is a little bit of a downer. I'll probably maybe look into switching him out for somebody that has better back row accuracy. Unless I can mess around with it some more. Uh, let's see. Deals damage with a poison wet attack. Okay. There's also bleed attack. And then evasion attack. Which is actually really good. Stick to that moonshine. I'm just gonna have moonshine repeatedly build towards these things. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna keep building grog towards shields. Nothing more. Okay, we have a lot of bats, but we're in a better spot than I thought. Oh, and we have a side attack here. I might as well do a skill. Okay, so the poison isn't actually that good. There we go. Okay, so I don't think that lifesteal can be blocked. They're really wailing on him. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to try and take that bat out. Nope. Dodged. Ow. A little bit of pain. And he's going to get clobbered. Oh, good. We are almost out of juice across the board here. Let's just hit this guy. I know the poison will finish him off. Uh, nope, didn't work. Okay. There we go. Ah, go for broke. Because all I have to do is hit him once and we're good. All right. And that's the other group. I have my reservations about being able to beat them, but looks like we're fine. Okay, get a stone weight, can't get past them, and there's four giant bats. I I think we restore all of our HP back up to full. Yeah. This is tough. So I'm pretty sure... I'm 
I'm pretty sure lifesteal can't be blocked. I guess we'll find out pretty quick. Nope, that's just full damage. Ow. Well, this could be a problem. Okay, I'm just going to do a poison attack. Well, that's not fun. Escape. Escape. Okay, managed to make it away. Uh, can I check the status of my crew members? Okay, it actually looks like I might just be able to... Wait, arrange. Oh. Let's try that. Now, do we just go back in full health? We do. Okay. So I'm going to guard. We're going to try and kill this bat. Because, yeah, you can't block lifesteal. Which is a serious problem. There we go. So far, so good. Uh, let's see, how are we doing stamina-wise? I'm gonna rest. Guard, and then rest. Because I could push onwards, but what's, what's the point of it? Uh, let's see, skill, do we do a poison attack on the other one? Nah, go for broke. Don't need to guard if we're doing big damage. There we go. So far, so good. All right, neat. Anything else? More iron. One-way door. And then that's the drop-down point. So I think the next thing I've got to do is maybe figure out the, uh, the counterweight system. Because I've cleared that area out. That's locked. There's one more thing up above, but I don't know how to get to that. Locked door, open hallway. Because, yeah, I can't do that. That's locked. I haven't found any Mandragoras. So I think we, we just go back up at this point and I might even just reset the monsters, all things considered. Uh, oops. Just give myself a little bit of leeway, whoops. A uh, little bit of leeway, a little bit of extra EXP. So let's go back to base camp for the time being. Uh, Cause I also want to mess with crew, uh, team composition. Crew members. First and foremost, I want to take a look at Whiskey. What are what are his skills? So, resistance to fire damage by 14%. Flame wall. Wall of fire in front of your allies. Inflicts flame damage to enemies who attack with close to short ranged attacks. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Sets an enemy on fire. That's just a lot of fire. Energy drain. Drains the vitality, drains vitality and inflicts damage. Damage inflicted restores the user's own health, can only be used against uh, living creatures, and cannot be guarded against. Consumption. Reduces stamina. Oh, I see. That just makes it so they can't rest as well. <sighs> Converts your own life force to energy, increasing your magic power by 40%, but you lose half your max health, which isn't actually that bad, but it's a little rough. Demon skin. Attack resistance equal to that of a demon and halves its resistance. Okay, and then there's summon familiar. And then when equipped with the staff or wand, magic power is increased by 20%. Hit raise rate is up. And when equipped with the light armor, maximum spirit is up. So it doesn't look like they at the very least have the ability to get their uh get their mana back. What about, what about Cleric? So Cleric also has prayer. 
but prayer heal, but then reign of life, which is just a full team heal. Resurrection, shining wall, reduces damage by 50%. Good against undead. Cool. Inspiration. Just better when wearing lighter medium armor. Amount of recovery provided by 15%. This is a fire damage. Let's see, anything else? I mean, some of these are good. Club mastery. And then medium and heavy armor mastery. Interesting. So it would not actually be a terrible idea to some degree to have a cleric in the front instead. Oh, because that's what... Because if you take a look at Grog, he's got a lot of good heavy armor, blocking, shield bash, whatever stuff. Uh, then again, he's got just like gobs of abilities, including these really solid passives. So maybe not. I don't know. Either way, for now, I think this is a good stopping point. I'm enjoying this game a fair bit as kind of just like a hyper casual roguelite dungeon crawler where effectively it's not even a roguelike, honestly. It's... Like, there are elements of it, maybe, but I, I think it is just full full dungeon crawler. Um, where you just go in, go deeper, grab as much as you can, go out, heal, maybe grind against mobs a bit, and then kind of rinse repeat until you're done. So it, it actually just is not a roguelike at all. I don't know why I thought it was one, but I guess I'm here. Somebody's going to leave a mad comment about that. I still think there's a ton of potential for a roguelike that, uh, that fits this bill. Uh, cause yeah, what I thought I would be doing is going on like little dungeon runs and then the end of it we tabulate loot, EXP, win or lose, and then just keep going. But no, it's, it's just full dungeon crawler. Well, it's fine. Either way, I, I'm honestly surprised there aren't more of these. I know there's like Etrian Odyssey and a bunch of other ones, but as far as I can tell, this has hand-designed dungeons, which actually matters quite a lot. Cause I find most just regular dungeon crawlers, uh, or most JRPG dungeon crawlers have purely uh, randomly generated dungeons, and that's not actually as interesting as something that is hand-designed and more interesting to explore and satisfying to explore. But with all that said, Potato Flowers in Full Bloom, it's an odd name, but I, it's charming enough. It's available on Steam and Switch, and it's probably available on uh, PlayStation as well. Let me double check. Uh, let's see. Nope, actually, it's just Windows and Switch, uh, and it's... What, 20 bucks normally? 18 bucks normally, down to 16 for launch. So if you're looking for kind of more of a, a charming dungeon crawler RPG, um, then check this out. I, I don't play a whole lot of these, mainly just because there aren't that many of them. But it's got lovely, just super calming music. Uh, the characters are, are kind of fun. I like the different build variety. I was hoping to see a little bit more depth. I think this is like 1.0, so I don't think there's going to be more updates. I was hoping to see a little bit more depth of the character building, but I mean, I don't think this is a particularly long or dense game either. So with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, it helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I've got tons and tons of new games every day to check out. But with all that said, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.